In spring of 2023, I packed my bag and visited Mallorca, a Spanish island in the Mediterranean Sea, and tried to hike the famous GR221 trail from west to north across the whole island. I walked over 100 miles alone, sleeping in tent, cooking my food and carrying everything I owned in my backpack. I saw many beautiful sunsets, met amazing people and also other animals. I flew my drone in lots of stunning places and even managed to crash it once. Sometimes I felt lonely, other times overjoyed and occasionally I was maybe going a bit crazy. This is the story of walking across Mallorca, part 1. And after a long time getting here, I was finally ready to leave civilization behind. So, I just realized my tent has been inside out the whole night. So that's probably why it was so cold inside. Um, what a way to start the day and the journey. Ah, uh, goddamn. <laughs> And after a quick stop for camping gas, I took a bus to Port Andrax, my starting location. So, the journey starts here in Port Andrax, and yeah, we're gonna continue into those hills over there. And as soon as I left the city, the hills emerged. And with them, a beautiful scenery. So, the sun is slowly setting across the Dragonair Island, right there. And yeah, I made my way here. This is the western coast of the island because I want to cross the island from the westernmost point to the northernmost point as well as like crossing and doing the GR trail. The sunset here is just so beautiful, look at this. But the best part was after the sunset. Up to this point I wasn't really able to see much in front of me, but now, overcoming this small peak, everything opened up. A 
After a short asphalt part and some playful kids, I was back on the small paths. So, on my map, there is a well or a spring. It actually is here, but there is a catch. I will show you. I thought there should be a bucket around here. Down there, there is water. But to get it, you have to lay here on this stone, like this. And with your bottle, try to reach down there. And that was a big problem for me, because I can reach down there, but I am afraid of dark water deep places and this was really extreme because this is just like a hole in the ground and you cannot see where it ends. Yeah, I got my water but uh, I don't want to ever do something like that again. It was now getting quite late, so I found a nice cozy place in this old abandoned ruin to set up camp. I found a place for my solar panels so that they could hopefully catch some of the evening sun. Then I went back to build my tent. I don't think I've ever seen sunset so red. In the morning, I made tea and breakfast and headed further. Soon there was Estayens, the first city along the path. So I just had really nice lunch. I charged my drone batteries and now I'm ready to go. Finding a camping spot in Banyal Bufar was quite hard, but at last I managed to find this small patch of grass near the cliffs. In the evening, I made myself food and some nice locals even offered me a beer to enjoy with the beautiful sunset. When I woke up, I was greeted with this guy. Ahoy. 
He looked hungry, so I made him a breakfast. I think he was thankful. I then wanted to explore the area, and I found this interesting looking tower. And on the beach, there was also this waterfall. As I'm walking, I start seeing fallen down trees everywhere. I take out my drone as I want to see it from above. My first impression was that there must have been an earthquake. After hiking for a while, I came across these two interesting structures, and one of them had a pool inside. At the back of this one was a short chimney, that actually was a well. When I got my water, I started walking again, but suddenly, the forest ended with a cliff. As it was getting dark, I rushed my way into a nearby valley because I was afraid that another earthquake or something might happen again. I found this strange shrine there and tried to look for a flat spot without many trees around as a tent isn't a great protection against a falling tree. Luckily nothing happened, and with the morning light, I saw these huge terraces that I was camping on. I wonder who built them, and what was their purpose? I also found out that behind the statue, there was a spring. Later I discovered that the earthquake was in fact a storm, but look at the size of these displaced boulders. I mean, the storm must have been massive. This was terrifying. In Valdemosa, I visited a monastery and beautiful gardens. So I made my way up a pretty steep mountain, but I needed to take out water from this well, and as you can see, it's locked.
so I don't know what to do. I don't want to go back the way I came from. The place where I could get water, like another one, is really far away, so I think I'm going to risk it. I still have some water, but it's going to be rough. I'm climbing down this really really steep cliff and there were signs saying like danger and stuff because um, there is a path like this it goes down and yeah right next to it there is a cliff I don't want to go that close to it but as you can see So yeah, after the whole day uh, with just water I had uh, with me, I finally managed to make my way to the fountain, which is right here. But <laughs> I don't think I can get the water there because inside there's literally a corpse, like a skeleton of an animal laying in the water. So I don't think it's safe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just continue on my way and there's a city in a uh, in few kilometers so I should be fine but <laughs> that was just funny seeing the corpse swimming there like nope no water for you now I think I should pause here and try to explain what happened because this needs some context I arrived in Deya pretty late, and because of its steep terrain, it was difficult to find a camp spot there. As I was walking through the city, I suddenly see Julia, Paulina and Luca, three hikers that I occasionally bumped into on the trail, and Henry, an absolute legend that I had the pleasure to meet there, waving at me from a refugio, a sort of cheap accommodation for hikers. I decided to also book a bed. Partly because I kind of needed the shower, but also because I could use some company after hiking alone for some time now. You see, the next day I had planned to continue hiking along the GR trail, but instead I decided to join my friends on a detour along the sea coast. And I'm glad I did. But all of this and more in the next episode.